Hi again, folks. In this video, 400 subscribers. I want to thank you, folks. Let's talk about it. Coming up. All right. Yeah, I wanted to throw a thank you once again, folks. I'm, um, I'm, I, I believe now I'm at about 3,500 hours and uh, the last 100 subscribers, I'm still I'm not there yet. I'm, a, I'm on the verge of it now. But I know how it is, you know, some, somebody hates me once in a while and they have to like unsubscribe and it's okay, <laughs> I get it. The, the channel's designed to, <laughs> to, to acquire a certain taste, I get that, I do, you know. And uh, I wanted to mention, like I've had some people, like the guy I, I threw off recently, I went, I, I dug into this guy and like he's, he's, he's a subscriber, he wasn't a subscriber, but he's a subscriber of all these Leafs channels and he's a Sabres fan and he's coming to my channel and causing trouble. It's like, no, 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 <laughs> into the abyss, <laughs> the abyss. So when, when, this, um, when this channel started, as I said in the, th in the 300 video, it really was just an idea, you know, and it was a pandemic and, and it was things out there. And the, if you would have told me like I'd have this studio in my apartment now. Like I just never would have believed it a year ago. You know, it just wasn't something I was planning. But I, uh, I wanted to, I wanted to reach out to Sabres fans and let them know that yeah, there, there's fans out there that's never that are never going to quit on this franchise. You know, it's important we know that I think sometimes because. I'm so sick of hearing how our franchise is dead and finished and over with and we should move the team and like you hear all sorts of garbage, you know, and I, I just, I could care less. Really, I could care less what half these people say. And I'm going to like I do a video exposure on a, that video there for Amanda I've been planning to do. Uh, I'll probably work on it tonight a bit, you know, uh, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this video that I was going to do. So when it comes down to this this channel i want to have a bit of humor in it i gotta laugh too folks i can't just be a deadly serious guy standing there like some people holding a microphone i can't do it can't it's not in me gotta be loose gotta be gotta joke around uh gotta ha just gotta be a a, a a fun atmosphere where we're kind of getting together and we're chit-chatting about the team and you know we're having a few good laughs at the same time and you know there is nothing wrong with being a Buffalo Sabres fan. And there was no way I was going to start a channel. And folks, for the record, I don't got two favorite teams. Okay, let's... Okay, I know a lot of like the other channels have other favorite... No. If I'm married, I'm married to one woman. I'm not married to two, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't understand that thinking. I just don't. So, no. You're committed to one team, or you're not. Please, you know, if I'm going to have two favorite teams, that means I got double the chance you do of winning the Stanley Cup every year. How fair is that? Why should I have double the chance and you do, right? So I, I just want to, you know, come on, I, you know, but there was cer certain things that I really wanted to talk about because God damn it, man, I've seen this team come close to winning the Stanley Cup. I'm not imagining 2006. I'm not imagining 1999. I'm not imagining 1980. I'm not imagining 1975 happened. I've seen this team in their history this close to the promised land. What makes any fans have the right to say about a, a franchise that's done that, they'll never win a cup? How can any fans even think that way? I don't know. One thing for sure, okay, uh, is I will be like brutally honest about the team on this channel. I'm going to wrap this up in a sec. I won't hold back any punches. Like this team right now is a wuss team. This team needs to get physical. This team needs to get aggressive. This team needs to find an identity. And this team needs a culture change. And I believe the culture change will happen this season. This season. Not next season. This season. I really believe that's going to happen. Now, the physical thing and the getting tough thing, God damn it, that might take longer, you know? It might. It depends. I don't think with high-end talent, we're going to try to get tough guys. I wish we would get some sandpaper, but I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to have to look around for that and ha get those guys for third and fourth round picks and stuff. And You know what I mean? But I would, I would welcome a guy like John Scott right about now, you know, on this team. 
I would. A guy like that, you know? But before I forget, the video is about you guys. You know, this channel is your channel. I do it for you guys, you know? I don't do it for me. There's no ego for me to be in here sweating right now, missing the hockey game, talking to a camera. <laughs> it's just not, you know? So I'm going to get back to the game and hope the Habs tie up this series. But that being said, guys, uh, you know, thanking you. I've done that before. I think you guys know I appreciate it because I appreciate the support because that means we kind of connect. You know, we kind of connect on certain areas of what we believe in what we want to see happen, what we believe, that's the most important thing to me, is what we believe will happen eventually, which is this team will get back to respectability. And folks, I can't wait to be making the videos one day when you and I are talking and we're in the final four, or even better yet, the Stanley Cup finals again. On that note, I wish you a great night and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.